All right, guys, so welcome back. Today, like I said earlier, we have on the show Nollywood actor Enina Nwigwe, <laughs> whom I absolutely love. I mean, if you've seen my review of his movie Black November, then you know I absolutely love him. But we have him today on the show, and we're going to be chatting with him about his career and maybe a little bit about his personal life as well. So join me in welcoming Enina. Thank you so much for joining us today, Enina. Thank you for having me. You look really, really good. I think that's going to be my first question. Your style. Uh, yeah, what's the question? Let's talk about it. What's you, the question? You're, you're very stylish uh, guy. Yeah. You always appear on the red carpet. It's like you're one of those people that people look forward to, to seeing on the red carpet. Like, okay, what are you not going to wear? So what inspires your style? You know, what's, uh, what's interesting about this question is that I've gotten it lately, mm -hmm. uh, often. Oh, so it's not just me. Yeah, it's not just you, but, but strangely, I'm not one of those guys that you would uh, say is very style uh, conscious. Like, I don't go out of my way to think style. What am I going to bring to the red carpet this time around? Mm -hmm. I kind of like just let how I feel in every moment. And most times I make my decisions uh, minutes to the event, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, it, it's important to have certain things, selection of clothes right. in there. Uh, I am more about uh, fit. I'm more about uh, what I feel comfortable in. Right. Of course, they'll still be uh, divided into categories mm -hmm. of uh, dressing up and dressing down. Right. By the end of the day, sometimes I actually dress down to things I should dress up for. And people <laughs> now like the fact that I am simple. Down, but right. I think what is, what is uh, the pivot or what uh, lies uh, between both up and down is mm -hmm. how you carry it, how you feel about yourself and what you wear. Mm -hmm. And naturally people will buy into it. Just like a performer, if he enjoys his performance, right. the audience will, will enjoy Absolutely. the performance. So it's that thing somewhere Absolutely. in our yeah. psychology or we don't understand completely. Okay, okay. Well, that's a very good answer. Yeah. So that, let's just say it comes naturally to you. You don't have to I try I think so. Hide. If I look good, like you say, I take it like, <laughs> as a compliment, then it's, it's because uh, <laughs> I, I just don't uh, try too hard. Yeah, that's always the way to go. So I'm going to talk about one of Nina's biggest movie. Well, I think. one of one of the industry's biggest, if not industry. the biggest, is the biggest right, actually. It has right. the biggest budget. I, I mean, I saw that film yeah. and I was just like, I just, I went I went nuts about because the movie is titled Black November and it was produced and directed by Jessica Mata. Mata. Yes. Jessica Mata. If you have not seen that film, I don't know, maybe you live, you live under a rock <laughs> or something. But do you consider that film as one of the films that really put you out there and showed? Um, what you could really do as an actor? Did it push your limits? I, I, I would that be for me for as a, an actor? Yes, it did. Uh, yes, it did push my limit. Uh, I won't exactly say in the sense of uh, the craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe an actor is an actor. Mm -hmm. When you, you're put into a, uh, giving a script, mm -hmm. every actor accesses these things differently. So uh, for me, uh, from the script, I know what I can or cannot do. What's truthful to me or what isn't. Mm -hmm. Then um, making my choices on how to uh, deliver that is my call, and the director would help mold like the potter with the clay the vision, to tie to the vision. Mm -hmm. So uh, I find nothing challenging so long as I accept it. Right. Whatever the challenges would be, would be what choices to fly between mine and the director's if mm -hmm. they are not the same, but as mm -hmm. long as they are within the vision, which is his sole call or directive uh, or to, to handle. You know, so what was uh, what it did for me was uh, it uh, it opened up uh, it, sh it, t it it kind of like unlocked the uh, the side of the mind that lets you know that everything is possible. That's something that Eina has done. Black November. Now we we're going to talk about a, a movie that's coming out that Eina is in as well, titled Suleri. Yeah. Directed by uh, Mildred Okor. Mildred Okor. Okor. Uh, a sound character, yeah. So, so there is something for us to look forward to. So definitely go check out Black November, but be looking forward to Surulere. I saw a few clips of Surulere and your character is... <laughs> My character, <laughs> I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> it was, it was interesting seeing you go from an action film with like, the guns and yeah. everything. So a very stripped down comedy kind of film. Local guy. I, I, I also asked the director, I'm like, how did you know? Why did you think? And she was like, yeah. everybody that I heard that you were going to do this role said no that's not for you it's not your, that you're not uh, cut out for this kind of role uh -huh. but I saw something and I knew she must have somehow perceived something from mm. 
conversations away from film settings, right. you know, that directors are perceptive like that. I am that kind of person. I can tell a person's range. Mm -hmm. Sometimes beyond what they know, they're, they're capable of doing. Oh, wow. You know, but I would know to push the button to get her out. And I knew she had played that card on me, and she got it right. I'm like, I'll do it when I'm, she asks. I'm too excited. Would you like to do it? I'm like, yeah, I am too. Awesome. Okay, so to wrap up this interview, thank you so much, by the way. You've been amazing. Thank to wrap you. up the interview, a word for your fans. You know, some people are like, oh, you know, you know, I adore you. I want to be an actor. Or I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. What, what, you have the camera right now. So yeah, am I talking to the, talk to the camera? Talk to the camera. Tell them okay. what, 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 what's in your heart. Uh, what's in moment. my heart? That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, <laughs> word. Because them. it was about the word heart. Uh, and that would be follow your heart always, it'll always lead you to your destiny. You might want to be an actor, but truth be told, you and you alone know what your heart is saying. Mm -hmm. If your heart is saying yes, go, go all the way for it. Through it all, challenges or anything else, you will always arrive at where you ought to be. Mm -hmm. Anything other than that, uh, it's not for you. Follow your heart always. That's, I wanted to say amen. Mm -hmm. It was that good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for talking to yeah, me. I really appreciate me. Your, uh, your time. All right, so that's all we have for you today with the interview uh, with Aina. Thanks again for coming. The show isn't over. I still have one more movie review for you. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. It was such a good chats and i enjoyed talking to him well, thank you Enina, for coming on the show hopefully you come back next time all right the show isn't over up next we're going to give you our commentary our thoughts myself and for last thoughts on afri african international film festival 2015 you don't want to miss it okay sit tight we'll be right back <laughs> alright guys welcome back so like i told you earlier on we're going to be talking about afri 2015. Mm -hmm. AFIF stands for African International Film Festival. Yeah. <laughs> you got through it. I did. <laughs> so AFIF takes place every year in, sometimes it takes place in Nigeria, mm -hmm. so sometimes it's at Napa, Calabar, or in Lagos, like it was in 2015. It took place in Lagos, Nigeria. The opening ceremony is always amazing because aside from the red carpet events, they also have the opening film. Yes. And in 2015, the opening film was Mediterranean. Amazing film. It talks about Africans that leave Africa to, you know, go pursue greener pastures in other Western countries. Mm. Amazing movie. The opening ceremony was BAM! And then for like they talk to us about it was about, talk to us about the uh, events of the week. It was so it was really really like you said it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, everything from the workshops, mm -hmm. you know, the networking sessions, the training sessions. I think Africa is obviously like an amazing experience because all actors get to come together and you know mm -hmm. network. So yeah, that, yeah, it was really well organized as well. Well, well organized in 20, 2015, there was a particular session that caught my attention. It was mm -hmm. the back of industry nolly nolly fund session. Yes, yes, the piracy session. You know, and then yes. there was also a piracy session. As well, so the Nolly Fund session was for you know, back of industry is going to be sponsoring, sponsoring some films. Yes, yes. So, movie makers came out, movie makers I had not seen it. Oh, hey, yeah, they'll come, <laughs> <laughs> they came out, they all came together, and then the piracy session was also. Uh, well attended as mm -hmm. well. Of course, because of course. Because piracy is a it's, big issue. Yeah, it's a sensitive one, so it's it definitely a, yeah, yeah, it's a sensitive issue in the film industry, so it was good that they all came out, you know, and for the betterment of the industry, they all came together mm -hmm. to, to have that conversation. And I was there, and it was such an amazing experience, experience yeah. with the workshops, like you said, mm -hmm. and the training sessions. And then there were also after parties <laughs> for last mm. turn-up queen. Yeah.